But as a holy machine, Kim Pachinish no do Kiani Bashishin, and she handed the Chedo Hanagahi the Chanel. So, hi, my name is Holly Benali. I am from the Ned tribe. Uh, my clans are I am born for Kim Pachini, which is the Tyrone House clan, also in my mother's clan. My father's clan is the uh, Kiani, which is the uh, Red House clan. My maternal grandfather's clan is Ashi, which is the Salt People clan. And my paternal grandfather's clan is the uh, Ahanagahni, which is the one who walks around clan. I am currently enrolled at Wonder Rock High School as an 11th grader. What Columbus Day means to me is a day where everyone is being lied to from the educational system. Because um, within these books, you know, in history class, it's always portraying Columbus as some kind of a hero that he discovered America and he brought all these like new great things to us but in reality <laughs> he didn't and simply he was just a lost person at sea who stumbled across land and who he mistaken thought it was India but you know and that's how us Native Americans got the name Indians too because he thought he landed in India so but Columbus Day is something almost like celebrating Hitler's you know, like a Hitler's like celebration or like an event for Hitler. It's the same concept, you know, because they both did mass murders, you know, they all like brought so many hardships to us and just the things that Columbus has done is really unspeakable and just to think that the education system, like the government are giving us these books that give us false information about him. And the reason why I want to raise awareness about this is because, you know, for the next generation, we don't want them knowing or learning that Columbus was a hero, you know. We need that we need that to stop now because if we don't stop or we don't do anything about it, then the next generation's gonna grow up thinking the same thing and nothing's gonna be done about it. Someone's saying that, you know, Native Americans are extinct and kinda making it seem that we're animals and saying that, you know, like, oh, okay, I thought you guys were all gone. So that makes me feel, you know, as an indigenous person feel as if like I'm forgotten, you know, that I'm that people aren't aware of that there are still Native Americans out there, you know, that we're out here resilient and that we're here striving out here. And just to think, you know, why do they don't why can't why don't they know these things? And it makes me wonder about that because it's it just kinda really hurts, you know, to know that people think that we're not out here still alive and that we Makes you, for me, it makes me feel like I'm unimportant. The good thing about that is that, you know, it also makes me stronger as a person, as a Navajo woman, to be more than that and to really put myself out there. And Which is why I agree to do this because I don't, because I feel like many of the kids who I go to school with, they're very in the shell and they're so like, they, they feel like they're trapped within their reservation. I don't want that happening to our Navajo people, you know, to any other Native American tribe because, you know, if that happens then what's, like, how does that make us, you know, survive in this kind of a situation? How does this enable us to go beyond, you know, like, reach our goals and, you know, make our dreams real? We, this is why we want to create this bridge. We're not, we're not attacking anyone here. We just want to be sure that they're acknowledged and we're acknowledged and everyone's all cool with each other. Mm -hmm. That we all know what's going on and we all know, you know the things he did were wrong mm -hmm. and how we can correct it, but correcting it in a way that we're all gonna like bond together. Like, stand up against the educational system and tell them to stop lying to us. This is the whole educate system. This is everywhere, this is global. You know, we're still here and that we're gonna be recognized and that we're going to be recognized at how strong we were and how resilient we were and that we're still here. And, you know, celebrating something that is more meaningful is going to be the right way to go.